This is the book of First Ezra, chapter 4, verse 26. Yeah, many there be that have run out of their wits for women and become servants for their sakes. Many also have perished and erred and sinned for women. Call law, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak, Wadash, that's given all praise to the Most High, in the name of His only begotten Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. My name is Ibar from the Prophets in Babylon, camp down here in Tampa, Florida. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles, the great millstone who taught us His truth and truth and sincerity. Peace and salutations to the whole folks scattered abroad. Shalom to 144,000. And real quick, man, I want to touch on this, uh, this story I, I had saw uh, yesterday. And the spirit, you know, the spirit's on me, man. If, hey, the fire's burning, so you know, I figured I'll strike the iron while 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 it's hot. You know, we are grateful to have the, the, the you know the Lord, you know, put the spirit on us to, to come out here, or come on here, you know, and give you these uh these uh e epistles or, or these e letters in the spirit from your whole Bosh and y'all shine. And and this is you know warning, you know, because a lot of brothers, you know, they have a problem with women. You know, you know, um, these women in this society are total demons. And, you know, the way I want to title this video is don't be crashing out behind a woman, man. You know, don't be crashing out behind a woman. So this this thing says Texas man who drove uh, 250 miles. This man drove halfway, you know, across the country, you know, 250 miles to kill new boyfriend of his child's mother and shot wrong person. Gets 27 years. OK. And I believe he was, what, 26? So he got a whole lifetime, you know. He got more than his lifetime in prison, you know, because he crashed up behind a woman. All right, now let's read a little bit of this context. It says, context backstory. It says, Kendall Morris, a 26-year-old man from Texas, was involved in a tragic incident that led to the death of Robert Cooley III on May 4th, 2020. And these, you know, these stories are examples, you know, because especially you brothers, you know, you, you come into this truth, you're going to catch hell, man. And, you know, your woman may, may may very well be a huge part of it. But in that, you got to remain spiritual. You know, you got to understand that this is not our rest. You got to understand that these women are our enemy on this side. And, you know, ultimately, don't crash out. Sometimes you got to take, take take the low road. You know, more times than not, in this truth, you're going to take the low road, man. You know, and, and that also concerns with women. You know, you got Jake that be fighting women, you know. Arguing with women, you know, this one bitch talking about calling the police on you, and and, and it's all because you upset. Sometimes you gotta take take the low road and, and take that upset and just move on, man. You know, because you you if you even jump at a, a, a flinch at a, at, a, at a woman nowadays, she can call the cops, you know, and they'll lock your ass up for for uh, DV, you know. <laughs> and I and I've had friends like that 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 that'd be you know you know beating up on on, on women or fussing and arguing or fighting with them and. You know, to, to the point where the cops about to get called. I got to tell you, listen, nigga, wait, wait, snap out of it. Wake up. You know, this, this bitch is not worth your your, 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 your uh, freedom. You know, Jake going to prison for 27 years, a whole, you know, you know, more than he's been, been alive on this earth. You know, and this is Jake right here because he crashed out behind a woman. OK, he let his emotions get the best of him. It says on May 4th, 2020, Marvis, um, or like Morris traveled approximately 250 miles in, in a comments that said you had 250 miles uh uh worth the chances to uh abort the mission it says from houston uh, houston to erling to, to arlington with the intention of shooting the new boyfriend of his child's mother however the case however in a case of mistaken identity morris fatally shot 24 year old cooley um who he mistakenly believed was the boyfriend due to a matching physical description. Wow. So he didn't even know what the guy looked like. He traveling 250 miles to kill a guy. He don't know what he looked like. It says Morris was later sentenced to 27 years in prison for his for this crime. The situation escalated following an argument Morris had over the phone with with the actual boyfriend of his child's of his child's mother. So they was arguing on the phone. You know, Jake, you know, Jake B arguing back and forth with me hey, we ain't arguing man okay that's nothing too we ain't, we ain't in the time of arguing or going back and forth if if you know we can't get it we moving on but for whatever reason there was arguing it says who was black and had dreadlocks similar to cooley's appearance after the shooting morris fled the scene with another individual in a in, in a vehicle but they were eventually apprehended by a state trooper an ar-15 rifle was recovered from morris's car 
just so you know, the man's focus is enhancing the context of social. It's like it. The main, my main focus is enhancing the context of social media posts that often lack it. If you like to see posts with more clarity and background information, consider following. Okay, there you, so there you go. 27 year old year, years for cold, cold blood and murder. That's it. I see why folks have have no problem killing. <laughs> right. Well, I mean, that, that that's a long ass time, too, though, man. Like that, that's that's, you know, but that, that showed you that he was he was being ruled by his emotions. You know, he, eventually his emotions got the best of him. And let, look at this Jake. This is Jake that, 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 that he killed. You know, all he said was he had he was black and he had dreads and he crashed out and killed the wrong guy. OK, so this is right here. It just shows you that, you know, you got to, you know, come come into the spirit of hell by Shemuel Shai. And the scripture says the truth shall set you free. So we come into this truth. We have been free from this madness, man. Let me go right here, though, because a lot of you men, you know, this is why I do this video. A lot of you men, you you, you, you let these women, you know, uh, control you, you know, you know, you, you let them get the best of you. And then now this woman who you, you know, oh, shit, this nigga got locked up. You know, he didn't kill an innocent person. And, and, and that woman that you was, you know, so upset about, she still with, 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 with and the nigga who you was arguing with and upset with, they probably, you know, still together doing, doing, doing the do right now while you getting sentenced. Okay. So the point in this video is don't crash up behind a woman. Okay. And, 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 and this is why the scriptures have a lot to say about these women. The Lord, you know, in his, in his Bible, he warns us about these women. It says first Ezra chapter four, verse 22 so like him it says by this also you know that women have dominion over you women have you know uh a uh, 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 power o o o over you men you know it says do ye not labor and toil and give to bring all to the woman yeah a man taketh his sword and goeth his way to rob and to steal and to sail upon the sea and upon rivers and that's what this jake did he drove 250 miles okay all behind a damn woman Look and looketh upon a lion and goeth in, and goeth in the darkness. And when he have stolen, spoiled and robbed, he bringeth it to his love. Wherefore, a man loveth his wife better than father and mother. Yeah, many there be that have run out of their wits for women and have become servants for their sake. So, they, so a, lot of, a lot of men lose their mind behind these women, you know, and they'll have you crashing out like this. You know, this is a great example of, 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 of you know, why to beware of these women. All right. They will have you losing your mind, bugging out. It's also a, good, a, a, a great example of why you need to you know, be careful who, who you lay down with, especially who you have kids with. Don't be just having kids cause with a woman because she look good. She got a fat ass or oh, she got a fat ass. Hey, nigga, you better wake to snap the fuck out of it, man. Ass is drop. OK, these women, you know, they age like, you know, spoiled milk. So as they get older, yeah, that's going to be fat. But you still gonna have that same headache, you know, so, you know, cho cho choose wisely. OK, and don't be just and. Hey, don't be, uh, what's that scripture? Um, scripture's going to it too about don't be having a bunch of ch ch children with vain women, roughly paraphrasing. Okay. It says, yeah, many have run out of their wits, run out of their wits f for women and become servants for their sakes. Many also have perished and erred and sinned for women. Okay. So wake up, snap out of it, Jake. You know, you got to, you know, you get into your, 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 your right state of mind. And even when you, um, when, when, when you come into this truth that the Lord gives you this knowledge and wisdom understanding. So you know how to deal with these situations, man, you know, how to move, how, how to, cause you know, if you don't have this knowledge and this, I'm, I'm coming to understand that too, about this whole, this whole world we live in. If you don't have this knowledge, bro, you're going to be susceptible to demons that you can't even imagine. Okay. You're going to be more susceptible to demons that you can't even imagine if you don't have this truth. You know, you, you got this whole thing going on where where where's where, 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 where a, you know, you, you know, there's gay spirits out there, you know, jumping on on, on, on men. And if you don't have this knowledge, that, you know, a guideline, you know, you don't understand these laws. You know how you don't live by a certain principle. You're going to fall for these things. <coughs> All right. There's many men in prison and in a grave behind women. And that, and that individual that got killed, that guy had nothing to do with it. He's like, God damn. You know, they, which he was going off. The guy had dreads. He ain't supposed to have no dreads, man. You know, that's not our customs. But him having those dreads, you know, that 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 that, that led to him getting put to death too. When you think about it on a larger scheme. So when you come into the spirit of your whole body, shine, you're gonna move differently. You're gonna move accordingly, man. You know that guy, the, the guy that got killed, he died just because he had dreads. He was black and he had dreads. 
that was the description that he was given. So he came in and found any nigga with some dreads, you know, in that vicinity and killed him. That's crazy, bro. Ecclesiasticus or Sirach, chapter 25, and no one perishes being innocent. So this is all the judgment of Yahweh by Shemal Shai. Ecclesiasticus or Sirach, chapter 25, verse 12. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of his love, and faith is the beginning of cleaving unto him. So you got to come back to Yahweh by Shemal Shai. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of his love. You want the Lord to, to, to love you and show compassion and favor to you, you, need, you first need to fear him. It says, give me any plague but the plague of the heart. You know, when the woman get all in your mind. Start fucking your mind up, man. It says, in any wickedness, but the wickedness of a woman. Okay, that, that woman allowed that to happen. She, whatever she did, or, or, or whatever happened to get these men to get on the phone and argue, you know, go to, you know, argue with each other behind it, well, oh, oh, over this woman. Okay, led to, you know, innocent people, or, or maybe not so innocent people getting put to death. And even this guy lost his life with 27 years in prison. Jake just throwing their lives away. It says, it says, and any affliction, but the affliction from them that hate me and any revenge, but the revenge of enemies, there is no head above the head of the, of a serpent. And there is no wrath above the wrath of an enemy. Verse 26. I had rather dwell with a lion and a dragon than to keep house with a wicked woman. And if you have children with, with, with a wicked woman, even if y'all don't live together, y'all still keeping house because y'all still got you, you. You stuck with that woman for 18 years. You know, if, if there if, if there were even was 18 years here left, you stuck with that woman, you know, a woman to put you on child support, you know, and now they garnishing your, your, your wages and shit, man. Hey, you working for nothing. Pretty much a lot of men lose their mind and their, and their lives behind women. But you, but, 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 but because, because she had a fat ass, you, you, you'll get in a predicament and now, and now you, and now you, now you don't bug the fuck out. <laughs> it says the wickedness of a woman changes her face in the darkness her countenance like sackcloth because 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 when women are very spiteful, you know, that they, they would do shit out of spite. And, you, you know, before you know it, this is not the person that that you met that night at the club. It says her husband shall sit among his neighbors. And when he heareth it shall sigh bitterly because, yeah, you you, you know, you know, you, you, Jacob go around their friends and their friends will tell him, hey, man, you, 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 you know, I saw your girl, you know, or, 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 or you, you uh, know your girl doing this or doing that or whatever. And it sighed bitterly. It says, all wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman. Let the portion of a sinner fall upon her. Right. So all wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman. And if you ain't right, if you, if you, if you a nigga, then, then, that, then, that, then, that, then that portion is going to fall upon you. OK, it says. Uh, verse 21. Oh, let me go to verse 20. It says, as the climbing up a sandy way is to the feet of the age. So is a wife full of words to a quiet man. And these women know what to say. They, they know what to say to get, under your, to get under your skin. It says, stumble not at the beauty of a woman and desire her not for pleasure. So don't, don't be stumbling at the beauty of a woman. Just because she look good don't mean that you, you know, g g give a woman your damn seed, you know. You know, now, now as men, we're going to deal with women, but, you know, deal wisely. You know, don't just be out here, you know, just, you know, go on, go, go on with the damn, you know, go on, go, go, go on, go on with the wind. You know, it says um, a woman, if she maintain her husband is full of anger, impetus and, re and, re and reproach. A wicked woman abateth the courage, maketh a heavy countenance and a wounded heart. So that's what a, what, what a wicked woman would do. They would fuck. They will fuck your head up, bro. There's reasons why the scriptures go into these women so much. And it doesn't have a lot, a lot of good things to say because the Lord, the scripture says the scriptures are written a four time for our learning. You see? So when you come into the oh, open up this Bible, it's also going to teach you about it's teach you about er, about everything, but also women. OK, a woman that will not comfort her husband in distress, maketh weak hands and feeble knees of the woman came in the beginning of sin. And through her, we all die. You see. Give the water no passage and a wicked woman, neither a wicked woman, liberty to get abroad. If she go not as thou wouldest have her, cut her off from thy flesh and give her a bill of divorce and let her go. He should have let her ass go, you know, but Jake be in love. Jake be, you know, hurt, you know, and they can't let let the woman go. And eventually she end up getting you destroyed, causing you, causing, causing you, you to be destroyed. And I bet you not that he's sitting in that cell looking crazy, you know, probably getting, you know, uh, mistreated in, 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 in that in, in that in that prison. All behind this woman, really, all because because he couldn't let her go, 
And she let you go a long time ago. You know, she had a whole different man. You know, but I just, you know, be hearing these stories about these women and the things they'll do. And, you know, Jake, man, Jake, you know, Jake is the one that, that really love, you know, they woman. The woman don't really love you. You know, it's it's the men that love the woman, you know, especially when you got kids with her, you know. So so that that be that be a, that be a, a certain predicament that, that, that you find yourself in. And you got to move according to the scriptures, man. In every situation, move according to the scriptures, man. OK, seeking your whole body, you shy much uh, much more and more every day so the lord can guide you in, in your paths you know he so, so, so he, he will he will guide your steps so you don't do no crazy ass shit like this and crash out this guy drove 250 miles man that's not a, that's not a short that's not down the street you know he had a lot of thinking to do and i wonder what he was listening to on the way there you know and the son, so they say he got in the car man so somebody else you know was with him you know and, and somebody, if he was a true 